The nature of God is his love. So when you then have words like severity or wrath or other words like that, they must be put in the context of God is love. You can't take them independently and then say, oh, God is love. But this verse says he's severe. Well, what does it mean to be severe? Well, the actual word severity there um, actually means sharpness or steepness um, in the original or rigor um, in that sense. So what does it mean in context of the passage of Romans uh, 11? Well, Romans 11 is talking about the old and new covenant, the uh, Jews and Gentiles, the what happened to the Gentiles um, and what happens to the Jews within the context of covenant. And I think this is what I think you've got to get a, your head around is covenant. And the covenant here being cut off is being cut off from the covenant, not being cut off from God, not being cut off. It's a it's a covenantal word cut off because they cut a covenant. That's how they cut it. They cut a covenant. They made a covenant and they failed to keep their end of the covenant. But God brought in a new covenant so they could enter into a new covenant. But the old covenant would mean that you could not enter in by your own works. You could not enter in by your your own religious exercises. Jesus basically came to show them that their trying to observe the law was futile. That he came to fulfill all of the law and within the new covenant all of the law is actually fulfilled so in a sense you could say the goodness of god is in that he has introduced us into a new covenant where the veil of the temple is torn everyone's open to god you don't have to come through a series of laws and things which god never intended in the first place you know hebrews basically says god did not want sacrifices and offerings um, but man did man chose that system god worked within the system that man chose and then basically it's basically saying that system will not work so when it looks of god's goodness he brings in the new covenant but the severity of god is in reality you cannot enter in via the new covenant so in other words god is not giving you a choice to enter in by your own works or through your own religious exercises or through any covenantal sacrificial system other than the one sacrifice that was made, which was Jesus. So in a sense, when this talks about severity or harshness, it's really saying there's no other way. You know, so it's not God being mean to anyone or being severe on people and saying you cannot come in. He is just saying you cannot come in this way. You cannot enter in. And if you try and enter in through your own works or through the old covenant system, then you'll be cut off because that covenant no longer works. So you can't have a relationship with God through the old covenant. And that's really what it means. Being cut off means you're cut off from the covenant, from the blessings of the covenant, because you can't fulfill it. So in reality, again, this is nothing to do with God's character of being severe to people or harsh to people or mean to people or going to destroy people or kill people or any of those things because god is love you can't have uh, god is love and love being kind and patient and you know r r uh, 1 corinthians 13 all of the nature of thing you can't have that and god being unkind and severe on people god loves people and he wants people to come into a relationship which is why he so loved the world that he sent jesus to remove the sin of the world so that everyone has access in to his relationship through jesus who is the mediator of the new covenant so literally the severity is the old covenant doesn't work therefore you cannot come in via that covenant therefore god is actually offering mercy and grace so the severity is actually a reflection of his mercy and grace, because if he allowed people to come in via an old covenant model of their own works, they'd be forever subject to legalism and bondage and law. But he's removed the law so they don't have to operate under law. They operate under grace. So look at it in those terms and you sort of frame everything out of God's love. And then you understand these words and the verses in a different mindset, because that is the context, God's nature and character of love grace mercy therefore then the same happens for wrath the word wrath or gay in greek also means passion in fact primarily means passion so god is passionate to bring about people's salvation 
He's not going to pour out wrath on them in a negative sense, but passion to bring about their salvation. Now, of course, to bring about salvation, people have to turn away from their own way to follow him. And often things happen in their lives that cause them to do that. But God works good into those things that happen. God didn't bring those things, but he works good into those things so that something good can come out of the choices that we make and the decisions we make. Because God is always wanting to bring about good for his children. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.